Hello everybody. Prepared I take a, another video of this 1966 Bolin 650. It's a 66, I forget. It's mid mid 60s, late 60s, 66, 67, 68. But I just got it. Just got it finished up. Got it off the table after several months of it being up there. Uh, I ended up greasing everything. I think I had shown a video of it running when I first got it running again. But the last couple things I did were just cleaning up the wheels and tires on the front from it sitting in that barn here in Boyertown for so many years untouched. And uh, a couple other little things I did were replacing the, uh, the fluid in the rear. That I did this morning. Uh, here we are in the uh, just about middle of July of 2021. I just got that done this morning and yesterday I was able to get this freewheeling hub to actually spin. I couldn't get any grease in that grease fitting down there. Uh, I had to use some penetrating fluid and whatnot and uh, to, and I actually I had a hammer on it quite a bit just to try and loosen it up. I was able to get the pin and clip out. Then I started doing the hammering and stuff and penetrating fluid. I got it to turn. Uh, and then I kept trying to put grease in that fitting. And eventually it finally went in. But I really had to use all my force almost leaning on the, uh, the handle of the grease gun to push grease into that. And when I removed it, it was under so much pressure, grease actually came out of it. But then after that, I hit it a couple times and it completely freed up fine. So, yep, that's all taken care of. You can see this has the uh, Brindley Hardy company hitch on it. I don't know if it was ever used. There was never any attachments with it. Uh, other than I did get a snow plow with it. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's in good shape. The seat cover's in good shape. I actually took the uh, seat cover off just to see what the seat pan looked like, and it is beautiful red yet, so there's no rust under there. You hear it purrs like a kitten yet. Start on the first pool when I got it down off the table, so... Not a bad machine. It really isn't. I really don't think it had many hours on it just for the fact that it was sitting for probably about 20, 20 or plus years uh, before I acquired it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's one of those things where if you get snow, it's usually wet. So it's warm enough to that, you know, if you don't get a lot, it'll, it'll just melt. So the fact that it's only a pool start, you know, <laughs> My guess is they probably went out to start it one winter and it wouldn't start and they left to sit. I believe the owners ended up passing away and someone else came in and purchased the property. This was in there as, long, uh, as well as a, uh, I believe a David Bradley tractor, which I missed out on. And there was a Jeep in there too, like a, a World War II era. Um, which I wasn't interested in, and I guess the guy ended up selling that. But I think, I guess this would have been the uh, lowest level two frame you could get at the time for that year, the 650. Because uh, then they had the 750, I believe, and I, yeah, they also had an 850. I think I had one of those already, but yeah. So there you go, guys. A little history on it. And uh, just showing that I, it's back up and running. It's out of the shed now. It's other than, you know, I could probably sand the hood and do some other things to make it appear a little bit better. Uh, 
but honestly I'm not going to do too much with it and actually if I show you this you can see how this looks over here that's how this looked over here and what I ended up doing was I used WD-40 and a scotch brite pad and I just kept going over it and then I waxed it when I was done with it even though I mean, it's quite smooth here this is pretty coarse over here but uh that's how that came out and I did this whole side of the hood here and if you look over here you can see where I stopped right at this line body line here I did all this too this came out pretty nice and I didn't do the decal I only did around it the decal itself that's what it looked like so but I was sitting in a barn in Boyertown Pennsylvania uh, I was at the edge of it where the opening was for the door and moisture could get in on the front of it and that's why I think that looks like that as well as the uh, the wheels are a little rusty uh, moisture came in on this side worse uh, than the other side if you look at the wheels you can see there where it was sitting it was actually the front two tires were in the in the dirt of that barn there you can see it too where it was sitting it was right across here and this tire here I think has a little bit of a, a bulge in it from where it was sitting uh, but it seems to be holding air okay so now the and what I did here as well use a scotch bright with Dawn and get that power wash it's like a spray and I go over that and I do that with the scotch bright wipe it off and then I spray wax it and that's how the wheels actually turn out. Same with the back one. Not too bad. It did have tire chains on it. I still have them, but they're no good on the one side from where it was sitting for so many years. But, yep. So there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoy the video. Have a nice day. See you next time.